have a little one that you desire to see grow in the things of God? Subscribe to Revive Nations Kids on YouTube for an exciting array of programs every week. ReviveNations.tv is now open to live participation to our services. I'm anticipating uh, the, the Lord to bless you with this word. You know, when you're pregnant with the word, you just, just can't wait to just, just deliver it. Let me start with Luke 10 verse 39, okay? Luke 10 verse 39. Again, you see the moment where Mary is sitting at the feet of Jesus, how she graduated from there and how the word matures and becomes flesh word goes from the the moment it goes from being invisible to visible okay let me show you a word that that jesus spoke to martha open your bibles to john chapter 11 john 11 verse 40 john 11 verse 40 Jesus said unto her, Said I not unto you that if you would believe, you should see the glory of God. Yes, we say, Did I not tell you that if you believed, you would see the glory of God? KJV says, You should see the glory of God. <laughs> One more time, okay? Can I read it again? Jesus is saying, didn't I tell you already that if you believe, you will see the glory of God. You must see the glory of God. You should see the glory of God. Look at your neighbor and say, this is the desire of God that you see the glory of God. What is the desire of God? You must, you should, you will. So, in the next, I'm giving you this insight because one of the most terrible things that can happen to you is that you did not know. It's one of the most terrible things that can happen to you is that your encounter is in the past. One more time. I don't know if you can, if you can comprehend it. Let me... What do I mean by encounter in the past? Whenever an encounter takes you, please don't, don't let this be a condemnation. I'm preparing you for future, okay? Whenever an encounter is taken place in, in the past, it is of lesser advantage to you, okay? Best example is Jacob. He woke up in the morning and he's freaking out. He's like, oh, I did not know that the Lord was here. Surely, God is here. Surely. But, but his encounter is now what? That means that he was not prepared for the God moment. He wasn't anticipating the God moment. He wasn't planning the God's moment. He was not part of the orchestration. He did not study the word of God. He did not see it in the word of God. He, wasn't, he didn't have the revelation of what was going to happen. He didn't have the understanding of the location. He didn't understand the place that he was, was holy. So he's eating chicken fried rice with chicken wings. Not realizing that that location was set apart. That that location was holy. That location was going to change his life. Imagine if he knew. Imagine if he knew. Now, he would not be, uh, he would not be, he would not have encounter in the past. Now, he would be able to talk in that encounter. Now, he would be able to communicate in that encounter. Okay? So, there is one moment he has an encounter where he is not able, he's not even realizing what is happening. He wakes up and he's like, I, what, what was I doing? You know, he's, he's so upset about that moment. And there is another moment where he leaves all his family, his 
all his servants everything that belonged to him he sends them across the river this time it's an intentional journey yesterday i talked to you about it any time the glory transition happens there is a loss that is happening in the physical your physical loss prepares you for a spiritual gain your physical loss prepares you for a spiritual gain so it's very critical for you to see how he reacts to the first moment and the second moment the first moment is an accident it's a coincidence it's a, it's he's not in control of that encounter the second moment he is fully in charge of that encounter to the point where he determines when the encounter ends ah uh, you missed something big here he decides what when the encounter ends he decides he can now he's it's a, it's not an accidental journey now he's conscious about where he is in life he's conscious about who he needs in life he's conscious about every moment where the bible says he wrestled till the morning until it, he could see the sun breaking and and the, and 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 the angel tells him he said let me go for the sun is breaking let me go people are going to come and they are going to see this encounter there are some encounters is just for you it's not for everybody else it's just for your eyes it's just for you so if you don't let me go now the other people are going to come and see it he said let me go he said i'll let you go only if you bless me you want me to let you go bless me first god is a god of reasoning and he's saying okay you want me to let you go sure i i'm just about to let you go but before you do you have to bless me you have to bless me so this is the advantage of somebody that has an instruction in their spirit the advantage of so i'm giving you a secret right now a secret that the next week the next days are ahead the next f- moments that god has kept for us the encounters are going to get more intense can i can i tell you the spirit realm is always desiring to collide with the natural realm do you remember the two timelines that i talked to you about the superior timeline is always desiring to crash into the natural timeline the spiritual realm is always desiring to collide into the natural realm i'm telling you i taught you that two days ago the desire of jesus do you remember the prayer of jesus i told you encounters is not your desires encounter is the desire of jesus that they may see where i am that they may be where i am <laughs> the encounter is not your desire it is a desire of the lord that is birthed inside of you is jesus in you desiring it it's the holy spirit telling you this is what you need to contend for this is the place god is taking you for mendo brakasia so the spiritual the spiritual the spiritual is waiting to manifest what did i say the yeah the word is is becoming what flesh the spiritual is waiting to manifest the invisible coming colliding into the visible now faith is the substance what is a substance something that you can touch something that is tangible something that you can feel faith is not invisible faith is a substance mando brokosia if faith is a substance listening to the word of god listening to the word of god you abide in the word of god it, you linger in the word of god you sit at the word of god you you enjoy the word of god you meditate on the word of god and then the timeline keeps going like i taught you last night and then boom boom the spoken word now became a child 
my goodness my goodness in the name of Jesus we pull down the invisible realm of God we call it forth to become visible in the name of Jesus listen I see oil dripping some of you are saying how is this possible how is this possible is this is this biblical tell me is manna physical or spiritual physical are you saying how can it be physical the Bible says manna is the bread of angels okay is angels physical or spiritual how can you say both but you're saying that the manna is physical but the angel is spiritual so wait a minute so you're saying the spiritual is eating physical according to your logic I didn't say anything I'm just asking you questions here talk to me so you're saying the spiritual can eat physical <laughs> now faith is a substance how did Israelites come out of Egypt by faith how do they get baptized in the water by faith how did they believe God for manna by faith now faith is a substance that means things that are invisible can become visible <laughs> Let it start tonight in the name of Jesus. Can you believe God for more? Just gaze on him. Gaze on him. Close your eyes. Hebrews 11, 1. I want you to imagine this. Let the word become flesh tonight. I'm going to be reading about you. Every time I read a verse, I want you to ignore the name and put your name on it. People of God, I'm seeing encounters happening in your house. I'm seeing glory filling your house. I don't know if you can feel it. If <laughs> Listen, I'm going to read your story. This is how your chapter is going to be on earth. Now, faith is a substance of things hoped for. Faith is what? Mano Zanta Bragozia. So the question is, what are you hoping for? What are you hoping for? What are you hoping? Are you still hoping for your job, your, 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 your phone, your car? No, 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 no. Those are silly things now. It's too small. Look at the neighbor and say, it's too small, too small, too small, too small. We are hoping for bigger things now. We are entering into a new dimension. We are entering into a dimension that can create wealth. Ah, kozomo zamana. There is a dimension that you can enter when the word abides in us, when it stays long enough inside of us, the word gets settled inside of us to the point after a while there is no separation between you and the word. It is at that point. The word has now become flesh. At that point when you have become one with the word, you are already in the realm where you are entitled to miracles. So the reason why God is saying, teach them the word, teach them the word is because you're becoming one with the word where now you are entering into the realm 
where the word created everything. So you will begin to create the realm of miracles in your house. You will become, you will create the realm. Now asking for a miracle will be too little. Because now you are the miracle. Because there are some people, you're still holding on to pain. You're still holding on to disappointments. You're holding on to failures. Faith is not in the past. The faith is in the sea, in the realm of creation. Faith creates out of nothing. Become one with the word. Become one with the word. Death shall bow down to you in the name of Jesus. Your eyes are opening up. People of God at home, God is tearing every veil. You're graduating tonight. Did you hear what I said? Not tomorrow. You're graduating tonight. If you believe it, clap your hands like there's no tomorrow. Now faith is a substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Evidence. You're receiving an evidence of things that other people have not seen. For by it, the elders obtained a good report. Without faith, you cannot receive a good report. Your good report is dependent on the level of your faith. Mando Zabani Antena. Verse 3. Through faith we understand. Ah, you ready? That the worlds were framed by the word of God. So that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Meaning the things that you see were not made by things that you see. The things that you see were made by words my god my god that is why from today you will begin to create miracles in jesus name are you ready i'm going to read about you i want you to imagine it close your eyes and i want you to imagine it by faith abel offered unto god did you put your name a more excellent sacrifice than cain by which he obtained the witness that he was righteous. God testifying of his gifts. By it, he being dead yet speaks. Your gift will speak long after you are dead. By faith, Enoch was translated. That he should not see death by faith. It was not God telling Enoch, don't die. Because until now, we thought it was God who came and pulled him up. No, 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 no. He's saying by faith. It was by faith. It was by faith. Enoch said, I don't want to die. I don't like dying. You like dying? Go ahead, die. But me, no, I want to be taken up. And was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, <laughs> he had this testimony that he pleased God. He pleased God. You can live a life that pleaseth God. That will cause whatever you're believing God for it to happen. When you begin to sit at the feet of Jesus and listen to the words of Jesus, listen to the word of God. When you listen and become one, when your life begins to please Him, that you begin to pursue the Lord long after you go out of this room. After our live stream is over, you're pursuing the pleasure of God. You're pursuing the desire of God. You're pursuing Jesus saying, God, I want to be holy. I want to be set apart. I want to do what is right. I desire something, but I kill that desire and I do what you want me to do. 
I realign my desires. Not to desire what I want to desire, but to desire the desire of God. And when your life begins to please the Lord, now whatever you have faith for, it will begin to manifest. It will begin to manifest because He pleased God. I commend your spirit to please God. Hello, welcome again. Thank you for being part of this Revive Nations family. We appreciate all our partners that help us to get this word around the world. Remember, the storms don't scare an eagle. In fact, she waits for them. What you're afraid of is what you should be waiting for. This is the time for you to stretch your wings. You are now able to hear the full sermons on the Shaiju Matthew app, which is available both on iOS and Android. Subscribe to our social media platform and let us grow together. We love you and thank you for being part of this Jesus journey with us. Until next time, God bless you and Shalom. Many of us love Jesus by our words, Facebook posts and scripture quotes. But when God wanted to show us how much He loved us, He gave up His only begotten Son. He is not looking for part-time Christians, nor a portion of surrender, or a fraction of obedience. He is waiting for us to empty ourselves. He is not asking us for some things. He is asking us for everything. And Jesus is the only person who has the right to ask us for everything because He gave us everything. Distance is not a barrier to God. RevivedNations.tv is now open to live participation to our services. 